All along, things seemed to have been going okay until that point when he came back and said that they won the chair and without the chair, we're not going to get any assistance. And I find that, uh, in my view, that is terrible. You don't hold the farmers to ransom. The farmers are not prostitutes. $1.9 million in loan funding from the St. Lucia Development Bank has been sought by the National Fair Trade Organization to cover the cost of direct trade responsibilities in the absence of Winfresh and the end of a four-month contract with sustainable agricultural supplies. However, attempts to secure the monies hit a snag when the SLDB requested a government guarantee prior to loan approval. Now, Chair of the NFTO, Eustace Monrose, accuses the government of St. Lucia of holding farmers to ransom by refusing to guarantee the loan unless the Chair of the NFTO resides with the state. The minister mistakenly thought that... Um those rules of the Fetched brand was in our bylaws. That's not any bylaw statement. It is, it is in the Fetched um, standards for small scale producer organization. This is what controls the brand. So there's no way we can make any adjustment to that. To do that will go against the Fetched rules, and the Fetched organization will have no other choice but to withdraw the Fetched label from us. That is a risk. We cannot go that way. So therefore, government has to understand that. What he made mention as this is in our, that's not in our bylaws. It's a fair trade brand rule. So that cannot happen. So this is the reason why we said, even if we could have given the chair to them, if they so desire, but within the context of the fair trade rules, as a fair trade brand, it cannot happen. According to Monrose, the NFTO had insisted on meeting with the Minister for Agriculture, Ezekiel Joseph, to impress the need to guarantee the loan and ensure that banana farmers who have gone weeks without payments can be assisted. All we are asking for, just let us have this advance that we, we, we are asking for, you're going to get back your money. Now they're talking about restructuring. We agreed to the restructuring. That's why we went along. That is why the minister had to prepare a cabinet memo to bring to cabinet. But the only thing that cabinet disagrees with is the chairmanship. That is why I'm sometimes even, I'm tempted to think maybe, maybe it's not the chairmanship exactly, maybe the person who is in the chair. I, I don't know. But you need someone in that chair who can speak on the behalf of the farmers. The contentious issue has not escaped the Prime Minister, Alan Shastny, who addressed the matter during the last sitting of the House of Assembly in February. And instead of now encouraging our government to get involved with FTO, because you cannot have an entity, Mr. Speaker, that's making decisions for all the farmers and the government of St. Lucia. We need to be sitting at the table with them, making those decisions jointly in order to avoid the kinds of losses they've had in the past. So what's in the chair? News Force probed Monroe's on the government's request. However, Monroe's, who has served for over seven years as the chairman of the St. Lucia Banana Corporation and has studied the banana industry inside out, remains defiant in ceding the chairmanship to the government. Just imagine, for four weeks now, farmers have not been paid and farmers are still standing. Because all I told the farmers, just be patient. We're going to cross that bridge. Very soon we will cross that bridge. It, nothing lasts forever. Just bear a little patience. And many of them have stood resolute in trying to make sure. And all they're saying, but you have, we gave you three directors on the board. That is enough, man. We, we have done so much. All, but we cannot give you the chair because it is not um, permitted on the fair trade rules. We cannot give you total control. It is not accepted under the fair trade, fair trade brand. And this is what we are, we are insisting and we hold on to it. As to what they're going to do down the road, I don't know. The NFTO is owed $5.6 million by Winfresh, the entity which the St. Lucia government was a major stakeholder. Monrose argues that by affiliation, the government of St. Lucia has a responsibility to honor the debt of Winfresh. Solash Alfred, HDS News Force.